Hi Kate Prep, welcome back. We are going to, this afternoon, make a craft called a sundial. So this is what it will look like. The supplies you're going to need are a paper plate, some paper, some markers, glue, a scissors, and we're going to need something round to trace a circle. So I just have this roll of tape, but you could use a plate that you have in the kitchen, um, anything that's a pretty good size circle. So the first thing we're gonna do is decorate your paper plate. I used dot markers and did some polka dots around the side. You can color the whole thing, however you want. Don't worry about the middle because this is going to be something that we glue on top. So go ahead and decorate your paper plate. And then, probably with the help of mom and dad, you'll take your paper and your circle and you're going to trace your circle right in the middle, like I did here. So we just have a circle and we'll cut it out. So this is a really good time to practice our cutting. Remember, our thumb is on top, open and close. And we'll cut our circle out. It's good practicing cutting your circle because you cut and turn your paper as you go and make sure you're following the line all the way around. Almost there. And you have a circle. Now, where does this go? Find your recycling and put that in there. All right, now we have our circle. So we are going to make the numbers the way they would be on a clock. We have not learned about time in K-Prep and we won't <laughs> do that this year, but we know what a clock looks like. We see them a lot. They have numbers one through 12 written on them in a circle. And we're going to use our sundial to help us look at numbers as well as see the sun move across the sky. So even though we won't be seeing, we won't be telling time, we will be using it to practice our numbers and to see the way the sun moves. So we're still gonna add numbers to our clock and mom and dad can help you guys with this. We're going to add 12, one, two, three, all the way around. So we'll go ahead and do that. And it should look a little something like this. And then you're gonna take that piece of paper with your numbers on it and you're gonna glue it on. So then once you've done those things, it should look something like this. And mom and dad are going to help you. This is a mom and dad step. I used just a scissors and pushed a hole through so that a pencil or a pen can go straight in the middle. So, let's see. Now, what you're going to do is, since it's a beautiful sunny day, you can take this outside and put it somewhere where it's in full sun. And then you can go play, you can be playing outside, you can play inside and come back and check on it. And every time you come back and check on it, you will notice that the sunshine is making a shadow that's pointing at one of these numbers. So in, you can talk about the time, it's pointing to what hour of the day it is, or you can just notice that it's pointing to a number. What number is the shadow pointing to? And it will change throughout the day. It will move, the shadow will move all the way around. So it's a fun way to kind of start talking about time, talk about numbers, recognizing our numbers, writing our numbers, and also just seeing the way the sun moves and a good way to get outside and keep coming back and checking on it. If you want, you can use a crayon and mark which numbers the sun has already pointed to and you'll have your sundial. All right, thank you everyone. We'll see you tomorrow, bye.